Hey y'all, it's Paula with Hellbilly Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. Check this out. Look at that. She's a coming. Look at there. Looking good. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I had to jump over there. Can't can't be standing here and not look at them pink blooms. Buds. Blooms. <laughs> It's been a really weird Memorial Weekend for me, but I hope you all are having a great Memorial Weekend. Um, it is definitely, definitely time to talk catacetums. Um, so that's what we're going to get into today. But I just want to, I also want to wish everybody, um, you know, a good, good Memorial Day. Um, I know it's time to, you know, really um, think about you know the ones we've loved and lost and things like that and I definitely I'm definitely one of those that's in there um, I lost my parents three days apart um, eight years ago eight years ago and it seems like yesterday and I think about them all the time and uh, wish they were still here so, for everybody that is definitely thinking about their loved ones that they've lost, I want to shout out and give you a huge hug straight from me to you because I think we all kind of need it. <laughs> I really do. Um, it's a tough, tough, tough time of year. And, um, you know, but I do, I do want to preoccupy our minds with catacetum talk because everybody is at the day of it's time to water we've got a set rule water by memorial day no we don't you guys <laughs> no we don't you have to learn to read these plants have to have to have to um you know this little uh the little uh, Rebecca's daughter that was gifted to me by um, Kathleen Hewton. If I watered that, just what do you think is going to happen? Yeah. No. It's not going to happen. Not for a while. Not for that one. The Rebecca Northern beside of it just got done flowering not a not a nubbin of a growth in sight so what do you think would happen if i watered her chances are her bulbs have rotten uh my catacetum dentigriaga dentigrianum uh what is it i love this flower to cross with uh chuck taylor look at that tiny 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 new growth so see um that's what i'm saying so many of my catacetums are in so many different stages right now you can't water when they're like that you can't water this uh parvianum uh type that uh, was gifted to me by bobby jeffries nope still not time to water nope this one will not get any water not yet um, these Fred Clark After Darks, both of them here in these two end pots. Nope. Not even close. Not even close to being time to water. Absolutely no circumstances. This, um, right there, that, uh, what is that? Taiwan Gold. Almost. This one's really close. Really close. This one will probably get water in the coming weeks. Probably probably next week. Um, so far, no roots showing in the bottom, but not quite yet. These catasandras, both of these catasandras, they got watered and they have been fed and look at them. Boy, uh, man, I hope these guys do good. These guys have given me fits. They came big bulbs. And I have lo I have had done mess ups and screw ups till I've got them down to plug sizes, and I'm really hoping this time around that I'm gonna do it right. 
so these guys are a little iffy but I mean look look at the roots so no these guys were ready um, this one the same way ready to rock and roll all kinds of roots so I really held out on these two because like I said I've had a lot of issues with them um, I really really want to see them grow this one I hope this one's like a bigger bulb so it, I hope it's got more energy so it's it's doing a lot better but they have both really jumped up and really opened up since I fed them so but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the table now and I'm gonna show you the catacetums that I have watered so hang on and we'll head over there all right y'all we are back now these are the catacetums that I have watered now um, these guys were probably the size of the Taiwan gold back there that I showed you before I watered them this coming week but they really grew and they really shot up now this one I am a little concerned about I think it's getting too much Sun because I do have them in I had them in that window and I moved them so I'm hoping that that's what that issue is with the yellow leaf in the middle I really I think I did I think I got it burnt and I think maybe that's why it went ahead and sent up this second growth but this is uh Cloesia uh worse worse was yeah I'm not say it's saying right um, and it's also putting out another teeny tiny growth right here. Uh, this is one that was um, gifted to me from Michael McCarthy. And um, I really, like I said, I don't know if that was... I'm just kind of been watching this one. I'm not sure if I screwed up and got it burnt. It was time for them to really get out of that window. Because I, I had a dendrobium to get burnt. So I believe this one was in the wrong spot. And I believe that got got. So, hopefully it will recover, and if it don't, it's evidently going to send up these guys instead. So, I hope that bulb has enough energy, but I tell you, this bulb was very, very shriveled, and now it's not. This bulb is very, very plump back up and very nice, and uh, I just have, uh, I have water in the reservoirs. It's in a uh, sort of a PET method, sort of semi-hydro kind of deal so but so far so good and I mean you can look my hand compared to my hand the, the amount of the growth looking very nice so let's go with this one here this one is this is also um, is this one from Michael I think so or is this I can't remember who this I think it is Michael <laughs> I think I didn't write on the tag and I need to like kick myself for doing that uh, I'm pretty sure I'll have to ask him if he sent that to me if not I will make it right I promise anyways these bulbs were so shriveled these um these were really like just shriveled and just looked really really bad and now they're not and that growth look at how much that growth has shot up um, and like I said these guys were relatively small and of course you can see it was really ready it was time so it's definitely let me see the roots underneath of it it was definitely ready for that now it's sort of in the same concept I just have fertilizer in the bottom of here so it's sort of the same concept of semi-hydro PET however you want to say it <laughs> all right this one here it's a little crooked I don't know why it grew crooked but as you can see it's definitely gotten big this is catacetum pileatum now this one I know did come from Michael and I didn't write it on there I need to make sure if that one came from Michael or did that come from Daryl and then when I do, I need to write it on the tag because I don't like not, I, don't, I like making sure I know who has what or who what came from. So, anyways, same concept. It's got uh, lava rock down here. 
and uh, the roots are down there um, this one is not really far there was one I saw that was way down at this one is way down there so I went ahead and watered it because this bulb was looking awful shriveled and uh, even though it had the two I wanted to make sure that it had enough nutrients so and it's really really shot up since I fed it so these are the only four that have gotten feed uh, this one you can see the size of the growth compared to my hand this is Nodi's Wine Delight look at that bad boy shot right up she was only about this tall and I mean she just since I started watering they did this just like within a week y'all I wish I would have done it uh, showed you guys prior but it's got roots clear down in the pot not as many this one I was iffy about but also the main reason I did was because the growth was big and these bulbs were really really shriveled they were really too shriveled on this one I left it go a little too long um, but this one went really dormant really fast uh, when it started so hopefully uh, it, it looks all right so far and like I said it shot up about probably about three inches since since I watered so there you go y'all um, that is why I said um, you know we gotta you gotta read your plant and know if it's time to water it or not you can't just go by up oh, today's Memorial Day time to water you can't do that that just will defeat your purpose um, there's been you know times that you know they water them and it um, you know rottens the bulbs and those kind of things um, I really um, I really I wish I could have got to talk to Rick L a little bit more um, I'm really thinking about um, you know trying a little bit he was he was iffy about um, the way catacetums are grown he believed that a lot of the stuff with catacetums was a myth and I so wish that he could have uh, really gotten to elaborate on that more uh, we talked about it a little bit um, he like you said I mean it's just, it's another thing that just kind of throws you back to nature uh, nature it rains before Memorial Day so you know these guys get wet I mean these guys are cultivated and made for humans to buy most of them um, they're not um, they're not imports most of them some of them can be some of them are but you know what I mean like um, you know they, they're a man-made hybrid so you know did that weaken things with them or you know weaken their genetics that they can't really take being watered like that you know would they survive in the wild growing like that um, you know these are all just really interesting questions that I wish I really would have had the time to actually sit down with Rick L and talk to him about um, like I said we discussed it to some length that he really felt that a lot of a lot of the growing things was myths um, he said you know with any orchid and and he's not wrong about that any orchid that shoots out a new growth um, I had a chart and I'll, I'll have to see if I can find it um, again and and I'll make it smaller um, so I can show you guys it's a chart that shows you mobile and immobile nutrients well if it's an old growth that is you know that the it's senescing itself or it's dying off then you need to look at different uh, reasons and aspects as to why it's doing that whereas if it's a new growth that's dying off it's normally a calcium deficiency because they need that calcium um, to to use as building blocks to build that growth you know what I mean so you know this this shoot is taking calcium and and growing and and where it's getting it from would depend upon where you know we're out in the plant sometimes it'll take the bulb away it just depends where we as having it in a home environment and cultivating it uh, compared to being grown outside in the wilderness 
um, it changes a whole lot of things. It changes a lot of uh, a lot of the the growing, you know, things. A lot of the growing. What's the word I'm trying to say, Paula? <laughs> um, the growing aspects. You know, um, like I said, out in the wilderness, it rains. It, this this plant will get wet if it's in the wild. So it's not just the fact that it's water. So whatever nutrients that the rain washes down to that plant is what that plant needs to start growing. So, I mean, we, we really talked about that. He really felt that if you watered it um, with good with, um, you know, cow mag, that you wouldn't have this issue. So I don't know. That's something that maybe, you know, eventually I might ex experiment a little bit with. See if I can't kind of... You know, get in Rick's mind and see, you know, kind of what he's talking about. Um, it would be really awesome uh, to know, you know, because everybody, like I said, there's a lot of people that really have this hard set fast rule that no, no water before Memorial Day. Well, that's, it's a general rule, y'all. It's just general. It's not set in stone. It's not, you know, if you got, if you got really shriveled bulbs, you gotta water that plant. You cannot let that back bulb shrivel up till it's gone, because um, you might just wind up losing the whole entire plant. I mean, they they bounce back really, really well. They really do, but sometimes they don't, and sometimes you can tend to lose the plant. So um, I don't know, but I might, like I said, I might try to experiment a little bit with that. Um, and like he, that's what I said. He said that you know if that growth dies back that it is like it's it's sort of like blossom and rot with like tomatoes they need more calcium because they don't have enough calcium to to grow and keep going they don't you know that plant sending you know it's little building blocks to that growth to grow and if it don't have enough well it's going to take from itself to try to push forward to survive so i don't know i don't know food for thought just definitely food for thought um, like I said, I might, I might go back and, uh, I emailed Rick a few times about talking about catechisms and, uh, it's been a little while since I looked at them. Might go back and actually look at those and see what we, what we talked about and what was said. Um, I really, really, I wanted to send him a catechism and, uh, a couple catechisms and tell him, you know, teach me. And, uh, but he, you know, he got sick and, uh, you know, just kind of quit his channel, which is really a shame, but I tell you, it's so awesome that his stuff is still there, y'all, and I tell you, every chance you get, go over and binge watch his stuff, you will not be sorry, it's Rick L. Orchids on YouTube, it is, it's the Holy Grail Bible of <laughs> YouTube and Orchids, in my opinion, so... But with that said, I appreciate y'all stopping by and hanging out with me. And I hope y'all have a happy Memorial Day. Go swimming, have some fun, eat some good food, and have a great day. Bye for now, y'all, till we meet again.